on Jimmy Fallon recently, Madonna says that she worships Kendrick Lamar and would love to work with him. She says that she idolizes him with all of the work that he has done, with all of his success and talent. And of anyone she could work, work with, she completely worships him. Now, if you notice her uh, dress, you notice you can see some crosses there around her neck, also crosses in her earrings as well. Here's somebody who's wearing this jewelry, who's proposing to say, this is what I worship, this is what I serve. But really, she reveals her heart. Her heart is, I don't really worship Jesus. I worship success. I worship culture. I worship talent. I worship another human. Jimmy Fallon doesn't correct what she worships, and neither will our culture. Our culture will say, you can look Christian. You can wear it on your sleeve or wear it on your ears or wear it around your neck. But as long as you really desire something else, huh, that's fine. Say you worship Christ, but live how you really want to. That's just fine, right? Isn't it ironic that Madonna with 400 million records sold and 50 number ones, all of her earthly success, she still's gotta worship another human. Psalm 119 Gimel. Do good to your servant and I will live. I will obey your word. In, in this world, whatever success you have is never enough. Whatever amount you achieve is never enough. You still run the hamster wheel trying to get to the next level. Even if you're Madonna, you still need more. Someone young and is upcoming, someone more successful than you is coming. Now, the Christian faith is to say, Lord, do good to me and I will live. Not, not, not me do good in my life. Not me get the world that I've wanted. Not me get my success. Lord, do good to me and then I will live by your blessing. By your word. It, it, it's really to live humbly. Not to live the glam Hollywood life that says, look at me. But to live humbly and say, do this for me, Lord. And then I will live. And I will serve you.